Only one more touchdown and we'll win this game! Come on! Yes! I knew we could do it! Whoa, Kevin. Aren't you getting a little too carried away there? Oops. Did I do that? Looks like it's time to clean that up, don't you think? Oh man, I actually shattered that thing, didn't I? My mom's gonna kill me. There's gotta be something I can do to salvage this thing. Whoa! Alright, Kevin. Let's think outside the box here. Have anything around the house you can use to fix the clock? Oh, Kevin's brain is definitely buzzing! For this hack, you'll need a record and some dominoes. Take the ticker from the clock that holds the battery and stick it to the hole in the middle of the record. If you turn it a couple times, it should fit right in quite nicely. Take a small washer like this and put it over the hole on the other side to secure the battery. Next, screw on a metal nut. Now place the second hand from the clock on top of it. Now do the same thing with the minute hand. And finish it off with the ticking hand. To make the clock's numbers, put some hot glue on the corresponding dominoes. See? A 12 domino will serve as 12 on the clock. Keep going until you go through all the rest of the numbers. Hang that sucker up on the wall and you've got yourself a brand new clock. So, how does it look, Kevin? Wow, it looks even better than the clock that was there before! Hey! Why are you just standing there? Check out my latest creation! Pretty awesome, don't you think? Crafting with friends is a lot of fun. As long as you can share efficiently. Here are the scissors. Oh! Go right ahead, why don't ya? I'll just rip the tape off. Ooh. Are you kidding? This is getting ridiculous. Oh, look! Plastic ties! I can work with this. Loop it around the tape roll like this. Once it's tight, cut off the excess plastic. Now use it like a tape dispenser. Can I borrow that? I just rip? This is pretty handy, Lana. Impromptu movie nights are the best. Until it gets in the way of important events. I totally forgot to get my mom a birthday gift. I'll just make her a DIY gift. Moms love those, right? You okay, Adam? Okay, that ought to do it. Well, the sentiment's nice. But it sure isn't a treat for the eyes. You sure made a mess here. Hey, that's pretty. Let me try something out here. Want to make a memorable birthday card? Tape down your paper and use a razor to shave a crayon. The more colors, the better. Then use your finger to swirl things around. Blend the colors little by little. Time for the second half. And for a more fun effect, use a slightly different pattern. Time to get blending again! Be sure to blend the sections together. Whoa! Now define your lines a bit. Nice! Use a stencil to draw in a planet. Not only does white make cool shapes, but it can make stars as well. Don't forget to blend them in! It's an intergalactic masterpiece. This puts my sorry card to shame. Oh, mommy. Sometimes life gets so busy, we forget about important events. Like Eva's first concert. And I forgot to get her a gift! Hey, these flowers will do. She'll love these! 
anything but original. Hey, Eva! Oh, what happened to you? Rainy days are the absolute worst! Aww. I could really use this thing! Want to reuse a broken umbrella? Simply reattach the fabric to the prongs. Then take your bouquet of flowers and stick a bunch into each panel. A pretty ribbon is a great finishing touch. And it holds everything in place. Tie it in a bow and you're done. Eva looks awesome up there! Thanks for coming, guys! Oh my gosh! These are stunning, Sophia! Bravo! Art is all about going with the flow. And nothing can kill your vibe. Not even a friend with a sandwich. Ugh, I can't eat like this. Alright, time to get back to work. This plate isn't even dirty. Pop out a hole and turn your plate into a palette. Use old plastic bottle caps like these to hold paint as you create. I bet Van Gogh could have used one of these. Tired of this mess, Lana? Ta da! I'll show you how it works. Just add paint colors into the little caps. Now you won't make such a mess. And there's plenty of room for a friend to join you. Wow, check out Bella's concentration. When you're painting still life, you've gotta really focus and pay attention to every single detail. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be refrigerator door worthy. Maybe even picture frame status. Well, this is probably as good as it's gonna get without me full on tracing the thing. On second thought, maybe this drawing will serve as a practice round. Yep, we're just gonna toss this over here for now. Oh no, Bella, your paint! Oh boy, I should have known that was gonna happen. Come on, drive faster! Hey, I wonder if I can use this straw. Maybe if I blow into it, it'll dry. Ooh, check out those awesome lines. This looks so cool! Um, is it just me or did I just create the perfect tree painting? And maybe I should add some flowers with these q-tips. If you use a q-tip to dab color onto your tree branches, you'll end up with natural looking flowers. But be warned, it may take a few minutes, so be sure to be patient as you go. Wow, who would have thought such simple moves could create such a stunning masterpiece? That's so beautiful, Bella. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this anymore. Am I brilliant or what? Alright, time to buckle down and get to work. Let's get all my stuff set up here. Oh no, I'm all out of my pink paint! I could've sworn I just bought this. At least I still have the yellow one ready to go. And I'm out of that one too. Great. Well, that's too bad. Perhaps some sugary sweets will cheer you up? Sure, why not. Whoa! There she blows! It's raining Skittles! Rejoice! Whoa, wasn't expecting this to happen. Hey, check out my glass wow. of water. The candy made it into a lime green color. Awesome! It almost looks like it's radioactive or something, doesn't it? If one mm. piece of candy did all that, just think of what other colors we can make. If you have an empty tray like this, try making your own candy color palette. After you add some candy, brush some water on the pieces like this. It looks like actual watercolor paint! Who needs to go to the art supply store when you can just use your favorite candy? Wow, these girls are definitely inspired by this accidental discovery. Ooh, that last one is definitely frame-worthy.